What's up everyone? This is Josh Rubin from East West Healing. Today I want to talk about strategic food frequency. But before we jump in, as always, please like this video, show us a little support. Hit that subscription button, hit that notification button, whatever it is. So every single Wednesday, we, you, you, we, you get notified when we release a video. Let's jump in. Now, healing your adrenals, supporting your thyroid, healing your thyroid, regulating your metabolism is way more than just eating food. It's about strategic food frequency. And this is what our method, the RTN method is all about, restoration diet nutrition. It's all about supporting the metabolism. It's, it's, it's doing it in a way to meet our body's needs and it's our biggest defense against stress and creating homeostasis, right? If healing was just about eating food, you wouldn't need to hire someone. I wouldn't be in business, it would be that easy. The problem is, that we have to create awareness so we know how to meet our needs. And a lot of that comes down to, yes, what we eat, right? But when we eat. Now, there's a lot of people out there that just focus on metabolic foods. And they're having milk and a banana. And they're having yogurt and fruit. And they're having these light meals. The problem is what we're seeing, it's not creating sustainability. So when you eat food, it's more than just about metabolic foods. Because if it was just about eating metabolic foods, again, we wouldn't be in business. A lot of people are maybe having too light of meals all day. They're snacking all day. They're not creating enough density during the day to create that sustainability that they need. Same thing when it comes to food frequency. So just to give you an example of that, someone might wake up within 30 minutes, they have eggs and fruit, right? And if you're eating a dense enough breakfast, it should push you a good three hours to a snack. The problem is for some people that might work if they're having three or four eggs and a good amount of fruit, right? But for most people, it's light eggs, a light fruit. They're gonna be hungry in two hours. And most likely they're gonna have jerky and fruit or they're gonna have milk and a banana or they're gonna have broth and fruit or yogurt and fruit, something light again. So again, you're gonna to have to eat two hours later. So you're chasing your energy, you're chasing your blood sugar, you're chasing the fire, right? So you're never putting money in the bank, you're living paycheck to paycheck. So what if that person woke up and said, I had eggs, a little bit of fruit and a little bit of root at a density, which brings you three hours now to a snack, which can be light to push you two hours to lunch. So that's food and strategic food frequency mixed together. And this is our biggest defense because anytime we're chronically stressed, our energy need, right, is completely compromised. And remember, the adrenals regulate the availability of fuel. The thyroid regulates the burning of that fuel. So if we don't have fuel, no fuel to burn, the thyroid begins to suffer. Think of it like this. Think of it as a fire. You wake up in a cold home. Are you going to wait three hours to light the fire? No, this is fasting. You're going to be chasing the fire every single day. You're going to be chasing your energy every single day. And initially, depending on your reserves and how much money you have in your, in your body budget, that might work. But over time, you create debt, right? Would you do that with your two-year-old, three-year-old, five-year-old? No. So here's the thing. You would wake up and try to light that fire as soon as you can to create warmth, maybe cook food, but also so you can warm the house and get warm so you can do the things you need to do. So you're going to put logs in the fire. You're going to eat a meal. This allows you to create stability, get ahead of your energy and control the fire and control the rest of the day. So in three hours, you can come back and attend to the fire. You might put some sticks on it, a little bit of kindling or whatever to keep it going. And then you come back in two hours, you put another log on it, right? This is like your meals, meal, snack, meal. Now that's cookie cutter. It can be different for everyone. But if you woke up and waited or you woke up and you're like, you know what? I'm just going to put a few sticks and paper on this fire. What's going to happen? You're going to have to constantly attend to it because the fire is going to go high and low and high and low. You're never going to create stability right, in the system that you truly desire. So the message for today is don't just think about your food. <clears throat> of course, you have to think about what you need and what works for you. Don't just think about it as a protocol. But think about when you need to eat based on what you're eating, right? Meals should push you three hours. Snacks should easily push you two hours. You have to focus on not only what you're eating, but when you're eating to create that stability, right? to create that sustainability in your system. So you're controlling the fire every single day and not creating debt and putting money in the bank. As always, thanks for the support. If you have any questions, put them below. I'm out.